Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So given this quadratic here, um, well, sketch it so that you, you, uh, you get a rough idea of what's going on here. So when x is small, it wants to do a straight line like this. Uh, the intercept will be minus 10, uh, minus 10, and the, uh, the gradient is, uh, is 3. So, uh, so it's something like this. Okay, and when x is big, it wants to do x squared. So your, your, your quadratic will look something like this. So it's just guesswork now. Um, uh, so, so, so find out, find out this exact location here. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I want to know the, the y coordinate and the, uh, the x coordinate of this thing here. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so, so to do this here, we, well, we've got to do what's called completing the square. So we, we don't want the, uh, well, we, we only want the coefficient of x squared to be 1. So, um, so rewrite this. Well, take 4 out as a factor. So y equals, uh, 4 square bracket, uh, uh, and then, and then th this will be, uh, x squared, uh, plus, uh, plus 3 over 4x. Um, and then minus 10 over 4. Okay, so, so what, what we're saying is that this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here, but just written differently. Okay, because, because when you multiply this out, and multiply this out, and then multiply this out, it will be the same as this thing here. Okay, so, so the next step is, um, is to, now, now this, this is a hard step here. Um, you've got to rewrite just, just your, your eyes should zoom into this bit here. You've got to rewrite this in the form of x uh, plus blah 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 blah, uh, square it, and then plus blah 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 blah. Okay, so so you've got to rewrite this in in uh, in this form here because this form here is very useful. So um, uh, hang on. So so let's let's try and do this then. Hang on. So it'll be four uh, square bracket uh, x. Um, I'm going to need half of this here. So it would be, it would be 3 over 8 plus, uh, plus, uh, 3 over 8, um, and then squared, uh, and then I'm going to get some rubbish. The rubbish would be, would be, uh, when, when I have 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. So hang on, 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. So top times top would be 9, top bottom times bottom would be 16. Okay, so this will be, I'm going to immediately minus that thing, uh, that rubbish, and then, and now plus, plus, uh, 10 over, uh, sorry, minus 10 over 4. Minus 10 over 4. Now, if, if you don't understand what I mean by this rubbish thing all the time, you, you probably have to watch one of the early videos. Okay, so, so now, um, try, uh, hang on, let, let's think. Um, let's, let's try and, Merge, merge these two together now. Okay, because they're, they're both, they're both single numbers. So, single numbers are like one entity. You can merge more together. So, um, so let's, let's times top and bottom here by four. Okay, so, so get the two denominators to be the same. So we, we will have this. Hang on. Let me move this over. So we will have four bracket, uh, x plus three over eight, uh, squared. Uh, minus 9 over 16, uh, minus, uh, 10 times 4 will be, will be 40, and then, uh, and then 4 times 4 here will be 16. Okay? So, uh, so now we, we can merge the two now. So it's 4, this, uh, x plus 3 over 8 squared, uh, minus 9, minus 40. That would be minus 49. Okay? Minus 49. Over 16. Okay, now, now, um, now, now you see, you see, this is what we want. We want it in the form of, uh, of, in this form here, x plus blah blah blah, blah squared, and then plus blah blah blah. blah. Um, th this is the form that we want it in because in this form here, it is very useful. Now, so, 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 this, so far, we've got our original equation is y equals this. Now, this thing here, we can rewrite it as, as this thing here. Okay. Now in this form, um, you, you want to find out this point here. Well, this point here is when y is at its lowest point. 
Okay, y is at its lowest point. So if, if I give you a graph like this, y equals x squared minus 7, what is the lowest? Well, when you get to this stage here, you have to ask yourself, what is the lowest value that y could be? What is the lowest value that y could be? Now, if, if you, um, if you get given this here, the lowest value, okay, here, here you've got just a number and then you times this thing here. Now, the lowest value that this y could be is when you, when you make this the smallest, okay, because, um, well, well, you've got four times something. Now, if you get this, if this something is small, then then the overall y thing will be small. Um, so, so your aim is to get this thing here to be really small. You want the lowest possible value for y, because if you look at this point here, the lowest possible, the lowest at this point here, that's that's when y is at its lowest point. So, when you get to this form here, ask yourself, what is the last? The lowest possible value that that y could be. Well, let, let's forget about the four and concentrate on this bit here. You, if you make this to be the smallest possible value, then then overall, even though the four is there, overall the y will be at its lowest point. Okay. Now let, let's just concentrate on this bit here. Now, how how do you make this to be the lowest point? Well, the lowest point that this what's inside here could be is when you can make this the lowest possible point. Okay, this if you concentrate on getting this to be at its lowest point, then uh, then that means the overall here will be at, at its lowest. I know this bit's really strange. Um, so so you you just got to sit there, think about it, or maybe if you don't understand, get someone to help you understand this bit here. Um, so so here, well anyway, if if you make this to be zero, okay, if you get this bit here to be zero. Then the squared part will be zero. Now, if the squared part is zero, then this whole thing here will be at its lowest point. It's like me giving you this here and asking you what is the lowest possible value that that y this y here could be. Well, if you concentrate on getting this to be at its lowest point, um, then 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 the overall y uh, the the overall y will be the, the the lowest overall y could be is minus seven. Uh, because if you ask yourself, what is the lowest possible value for x squared? What, what could that be? Well, if you look at the x squared, y equals x squared graph, the lowest possible value is, is zero. It, it, it can't be any lower than zero. So, so make this zero here and that will give you the lowest possible, uh, value for y. So concentrate on getting this bit to be zero and then that will give you the overall lowest point. Well, anyway, uh, if, if, if this whole thing here is zero, then, uh, then this, this part here would be zero. Okay. So if, if, if this is zero here, then, uh, then the, your, your lowest point would be, would be this bit here. Okay. So, uh, so to answer the question, what is the lowest value for y? Lowest possible value for y? It would be this. Uh, hang on. It would be this. Uh, four bracket. You see, this whole thing here would be zero. Okay, if, if you stick, if you stick, uh, minus, minus three over eight into the x, if you stick minus three over eight into the x, you see, you, you have minus three over x plus this bit here, that will give you zero. And then this whole thing here will be zero. And then, and then well, what, 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 what will be left will be minus four over nine, uh, sixteen here. Okay. And now, now, um, now the, the lowest possible value for y would be this multiplied by this. So it gets multiplied to the top. So it's a matter of asking, asking the question 49 times 4. So this would be, uh, 36, carry the 3, uh, 16, uh, 19. So it would be minus, minus 196 over 16. Okay. Now even number, e even number here, even number here. Let's simplify. So, um, so, so divide top and bottom by at least two. Let's try dividing top and bottom by two. This here would be eight, uh, one nine six divided by two. So this would be, uh, uh, zero. This would be, uh, uh, nine here. Remainder one. This would be, uh, this would be eight. So, so minus ninety eight. Uh, even number here, even number here. So let's do it again. Let's divide top and bottom by two. Okay. So this would be, um, this would be 
Well, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and this thing divided by 2, uh, divided by 2 here, would be uh, 4 remainder 1, uh, 9. So 49, 49. Uh, and don't forget your minus here. So, so the y value would be, at, at its lowest point, would be minus 49 over, over 4. So this point here, the y value here, would be minus 49 over 4, was it? Minus 49 over 4, yeah. And then if, if you want to know the, the x value here, the x value here, well, 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 the x value here is when you, um, when you try and stick, uh, minus 3 over 8, minus 3 over 8 into this x here, then this overall thing would be, would be 0. This overall thing here would be 0. Okay, so, so the, the x value there would be, uh, minus 3 over 8. So, uh, so, so this point here will be minus 3 over 8. Okay, so, so now you've got the exact coordinates here. The exact coordinates will be, uh, minus 3 over 8, comma, uh, minus, uh, 49 over 4. So this here would be your answer for this point here. Okay?